everybody. This is uh, Christophe from France, and uh, today I'm very happy because I will do some things that I really like. I reuse my old keyboard uh, from Apple to GS or Macintosh or uh, Next Station. Uh, I mean ADB for Apple desktop bus uh, devices onto a modern computer. So for that, uh, I will use my Macintosh. It's a Mac Pro 2013. Uh, and uh, Yes, also sometimes it's uh, very interesting to see how we can connect a modern keyboard, USB keyboard, onto an old uh, computer, also with ADB. So for that, there is something just amazing. It's called Wombat ADB USB. This is the tool. And in uh, real life, it's like this, this uh, small little box. So, what do we have on this box? First, we have an ADB connector, a small USB connector, a large USB connector, three LED, uh, one, one for the power, one uh, um, explaining that you have a device connected, and the third one that will blink every time that you type a letter on the keyboard. Um, the, the board is protected and uh, when you remove the plastic caps you have here a jumper a selector so a jumper selector in which you will select if you are using uh, ADB as a, a device or ADB as a host and the same for of course USB you have also a button on the side that will be helpful for different things, like, for example, the upgrade of uh, the firmware. By the way, uh, it's a very small computer, so you have some upgrades. Uh, and the last one is coming from uh, September 11, uh, 2019, if I remember well, or 2021. Uh, and... Uh, I need to say that the guy is providing additional functionality every time. On his website, you are able also to put a different point. So the website will be, uh, of course, in the comment of this, uh, of this video. So the first video will be how to connect an old ADB keyboard and mice mouse onto a modern uh, Macintosh. And uh, soon, another video for how to connect a USB key, uh, keyboard onto an old machine like Apple to GS or Macintosh uh, 68K with ADB connector or Next Station. So I hope that you will enjoy. And now let's start with how to connect ADB keyboard on Macintosh. So here we go. Now we are in front of my Macintosh and uh, I still have my Wombat. And uh, instead of using this uh, very modern keyboard, I would like to use the uh, ADB keyboard of my Apple II GS, which is mm, quite the same uh, shape. Um, so for that, uh, I will use uh, the Wombat, uh, as we said uh, earlier. And um, the first things I need to, to check if the jumper here is uh, really on ADB, which is the case. So it's uh, okay on that side. Uh, I think we have everything to be ready. So the first thing that I will do is to remove these old devices. And also my trackpad. And instead, I will bring my beautiful Apple II GS keyboard and mouse. So, as I said, you know, it's the same shape except that it's a little bit bigger and uh, unfortunately I need to clean it and uh, now to to make it happen we will uh, connect on uh, the ADB connector the keyboard of course the keyboard is connected uh, with the cable to the to the wombat and the mouse is connected onto the ADB port on uh, on the Apple to GS uh, keyboard and uh, I already prepared a USB connector that is uh, connected to my Mac Pro uh, 2013 and uh, I will connect it here 
I will connect it uh, here. So now everything is connected. We can see that the Wombat started. We have the two LED here. So this one is uh, to say that it's on and this one that the LED is OK. And every time that I will uh, type a key, I will have this, uh, this one uh, blinking. Let's try uh, moving the house and, 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 voila, it works. So let's make a simple test. Seems to be okay. Let's see uh, if the special keys are working. So you cannot see it because it's on the second screen. But uh, I can see that I can switch from one apps to the other one. So seems to be okay. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, I can say that everything is okay. There is no, no delay. Everything is just working fine. So uh, now we will have a look on uh, something a little bit uh, uh, special. It's, um, uh, it's about uh, the version of the Wombat. Uh, I have um, a French keyboard, so I will have information only with the uh, French version. If, if, if I'm here, okay. Uh, if I'm pressing the control shift caps lock V, here, uh, I have, you know, the version that is appearing. And uh, this means that uh, I have the uh, QDB USB Wombat firmware uh, 0.3. Point two, uh, and uh, as we can see on their website, there is a, a more recent one, which is uh, the zero three seven. And uh, to to upgrade the wombat, it's also something very easy, uh, as we can see. So let's make a quick upgrade of uh, of the wombat. The first thing is that you need to download. Uh, on the website, the firmware. It's done. Uh, you need to have a USB key that you put in your Macintosh. Okay, so uh, of course, a lot of uh, lot of question. So, here you have your drive. You need first to format it, the USB key, into FAT32. Here we go. As you can see, I am doing everything with my Apple 2GS keyboard and mouse. So, when the USB key is formatted, you need to go and pick up the firmware from the Wombat the website and to put it uh, in the root of your USB key. Okay, when it's done, you just need to Remove it, and now you need to take your wombat, remove remove the a USB cable, reopen it, move the jumper onto USB power position, which is in the middle. Put it back, put the USB key, and then 
you need to push the power button, keep your finger on it, connect the USB, and you will see that the two LEDs are blinking like hell. You need to wait until blinking is over. Yeah, now it's done. So you can remove your finger from the power button. Now you can disconnect again the USB, remove the USB key, put back the jumper onto ADB position, close it, connect back, and now it's restarting. You need to wait for a few seconds to, to have it uh, working. As I said, you can switch from uh, one application to the other one, which is very fun. Everything, everything is working and uh, the mouse is back. And now if I'm doing again, control shift option and V, so it says that uh, I have the new version of the firmware, which is perfect. Um, of course, uh, you know, all, uh, all the features, Apple, all, Apple copy, Apple pass, 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 pass is working. So very good. Now I have my Mac Pro with the last version of Mac OS and my favorite keyboard ever, the keyboard of the Apple QGS. In the next video, we will see how to connect a classical Macintosh USB keyboard to an Apple QGS to have something a little bit more modern. I hope you liked this video. Uh, of course, as always, feel free to like, subscribe and share. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, you will have the same pleasure uh, for watching this uh, video as me for doing it. So it was Christophe from France. Bye bye.